creating a classroom culture where students feel that they belong in science and they can actively participate in learning. Um, and we do this by providing resources that show a div diversity of scientists and science careers, and also resources that allow students to engage. So by providing these resources, we can um, take that burden away from educators so that they, they have a source that they can go to to get these activities and resources so that they can spend more time focusing on what's happening in the classroom and developing um, relationships with their students because we know that the relationship between the educators and students is really key to the sense of belonging in the classroom. We don't make classrooms more inclusive. Students from historically marginalized groups will continue to be excluded um, from science, and that's a huge loss. For an educator, the set inclusive communication is really key to establishing the sense of belonging. I mean, there are a lot of things that impact how a student feels in the science classroom. But the communication is really key, and it's not just the words you use. You're always signaling who you think belongs in science and who will be successful in science. So inclusive communication is really key to this teacher-student relationship and will ultimately impact how successful students are in science.